Hi, I'm Miles. I'm going to show you how I professionally clean an indoor pool which hasn't been used for six years. All right then, I had a DM come through. Can I help sort out this pool? Which actually looks more like a pond, I know. I was half expecting to see a fish swimming around in the bottom. There was plants growing in there, like pond plants. They thought maybe like, like when they were cutting the grass and they had the doors open, maybe little bits blew in and like seeds or whatever just went into the water and see bits start growing and stuff. So maybe like that, but who knows? We're gonna empty it and clean it out. Dropping in the submersible pump first and we'll be back the next day. Nice and empty, but not nice and clean. Time to get to work. I'm gonna jump in and have a look at the damage first. Yeah, so once the pool was empty, um, we brushed them in, into a corner of a mass, with a big brush, um, shoveled them out into a bucket and threw it on their compost heap. The main difference between cleaning an indoor and an outdoor pool is normally you don't get any sort of debris in an indoor pool. Obviously this one had plants growing in it. It took about five, five or six years for this pool to get like that, but for an outdoor pool that would probably only take maybe a year, year and a half for it to get like that state. So before we emptied the pool, this was actually floating. So when we emptied it, it sort of like the plants had like started attaching themselves to the wall. Then jet washing the walls and the floor. Quickly have a guess at what pictures tiled in on the floor. I went for a dolphin. Turns out it's a sea lion. That's pretty cool though. Coming up nicely, but there's still some stains left over. So what we're gonna do is mix up some acid in a bucket of water, scrub that all over the floor and walls. Then we're gonna jet wash the surround. Jump back in the pool, rinse that down, get the big hoover out, start hoovering up all the last little bits. Um, so that is a chlorine dispenser and you can fill that up with the chlorine tablets and it slowly dissolves the tablets feeding chlorine into the pool. You could fill up the chlorine feeder with the tablets but it won't give your pool instant chlorine. You'd then put in the granules to give it that initial chlorine dose and then the tablets will slowly dissolve bringing up the chlorine level as well. That is, um, well, some people think it's me adding colour to the pool. <laughs> is that what makes the pool look blue, is what some people me uh, message me. Um, but actually it's algicide, and that is to prevent um, the growth of algae. Uh, so that is a jelly cube, and it's a water clarifier. Also, it removes phosphates from the pool um, and helps with chemical efficiency. What it does is help put like a layer, pick up small particles, therefore making the pool a bit clearer. But when you initially put salt in a pool, a freshly filled pool, it will take around a week for the salt to be generated into chlorine itself and the process is called electrolysis. It looked as if it had just been finished from like new build. The tiles were like nice and blue, nice and white tiles, very clean looking. Um, a hundred times better than what it did when I turned up. This was all within maybe half a day's work. I mean, I've seen green indoor pools, but never an indoor pool with anything growing other than a little bit of algae. 